Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Feridian. So today I am coming to you from Cuba, specifically Cuba territory in Tampa, Florida. So I am about to enter a piece of land back there that is owned by the Republic of Cuba. Let's go check it out. Follow me. All right, guys, so this park is called Pirque Amigos del Jose Marte Republic of Cuba Park here in Tampa, which is off of, which is actually in New York City, Florida. So this park is only open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And we are actually coming into a quarter acre of Cuban property that is owned by the Republic of Cuba. So this is pretty cool. This was actually given to Cuba by the United States in 1956, three years before the Communist Revolution. And it has been owned by Cuba since 1956. Take a look right here. What we find here in this park. little placard there in Spanish La Casa de Pedro So and this little sign here explains more about that placard there let's take a look and see if we can kind of go back on here so La Casa de so 1893 Paulina Pedroso was a, one of the great women patriots of Cuba after an attempt on the life of Jose Marte the Pedroso house became the refuge whenever Marte stayed here the flag of the, the budding Republic of Cuba fluttered outside evenings the Cubans formed groups outside the little house to watch the Apostle of Freedom through the windows. Marty's room remained lighted until late at night and at times in the silence, the scratching of his, oak, of his pen could be heard. An intruder would have found Roberto Paulina, Paulina's husband on guard duty directed by the Tribune Company. So that's a pretty cool looking sign right there. So Jose Marte was a very influential Cuban national and writer and just Cuban hero back I believe in the late 1800s so definitely check him out. Check out his um, his portfolio on Google it or just re do research it, but definitely an important figure in Cuban history. So this is the park here. So we are standing in Cuban territory now, on Cuban soil. And here's a statue of Jose Marte. And there is his little placard that talks about his history. So he was Apostle of Cuban Freedom, born in Havana, Cuba on January 28th, 1853. He was a patriot, writer, poet, lawyer, and orator. A lover of liberty and justice, his ideas and personal example were 
a universal inspiration for the world as well as for the Cuban people. He perished on the field of battle in a struggle for his country's freedom in May 19, 1895 in Dos Rios province of Orante, Cuba. So it talks a little about him himself as a figure of great importance in Cuban history. So this placard was erected in 1998 by Tampa. So very, very important figure in Cuban history here. And I believe he would not want to have wanted Cuba to become communist. But anyway, this is what it looks like today. Let's take a look at this piece of property there. Cuban national flag, I believe, right there. There's the United States flag. There's another important figure in Cuban history. Looks like General Antonio Macio Grajolosis. So he was a lieutenant general in the Cuban Liberation Army. A little bit of history about this gentleman right here on this placard right there. So he was a major general during the 10 year wars of independence in 1868 to 1978. I'm sorry, 1878. So he led the invasion of 1896 of Cuba from Oriente across 750 miles of continual combat. So he was. Famed for brilliant guerrilla tactics, his many victories roused the Cuban people against the Spanish colonial regime. So he perished in combat uh, 1896 on December 7th. So that's that's his um, timeline right there. Alright, let's take a peek here. All right, let's take a look, little bit peek behind the statue right here. What's back here? Looks like some sitting sitting um, benches back here to sit down and reflect and take in the beauty of the park. I'm not sure who that is up there, but it's like a little placard of someone famous in Cuban history. So there's the island of Cuba right there on that mur mural. So you see a lot of references to Jose Marti here. Another bench to sit down in, rel relax there. So here's the back of the park looking toward um, 8th Avenue in New Bar City, Florida, Tampa, Florida. Just right outside of Ubor Square. So, pretty cool relic from 
Cuban history and also Tampa history. All right, guys. That's the end of my video here. If you like my trip to uh, interesting places in Florida, specifically Jose Marti Park, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. And thanks for joining me. And have a good day.